Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A rustic house in one of the countrysides here nearby Orangeville. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 30 verse 5. It says, Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to Him for protection. Do not add to his words, or he may rebuke you and expose you as a liar. Here's my poem. God's word, a shield. In this world of chaos and confusion, we need a shield from all kinds of temptations. Every word of God proves true. It teaches, convicts, and rebukes. When you read his word and ask the Holy Spirit, it comes to life and shortly wisdom is released. Do not add to his words or he may reprove you. Allow the Lord to transform and let your mind be renewed. Here's my essay. As a trauma survivor, I learned to manage the anxiety, helplessness, and emotional pain that sometimes debilitates me. Complex trauma is an accumulation of various exposure to repeated abuse, which can be emotional, physical, or sexual, or even neglect. Diane Langberg, a trauma specialist from the Global Trauma Recovery Institute, used a term that really struck me. She said that people with complex trauma is like being marinated in pain and confusion. This is an accurate description of what I experienced. When I became a born-again Christian, I was freed from so many lies and learned God's truth. In His Word, I found comfort, relief, and freedom. The Word shields me from all temptations and trauma memories and taught me how to forgive and let go. Prayer. Lord, thank you for giving us your Word that shields us from evil. Reflection. Share an experience how God's Word shielded you from evil. I remember in my 20s, um, there was uh, someone I was very close with who had very ill intentions against me and so when he was actually setting me up for that abusive um, incident I called God's name aloud I wasn't a born-again Christian then but I, I st still called God's name aloud and declared that um, I believe in him. When I did that, actually what he was about to do, he froze. He literally froze. And it, it's as if some, some, some forces, I'm sure it's God, uh, stopped him from continuing what he was going to, he was going to hit me. So it's like he was like up in the air with his hands up in the air and it just suddenly froze. It's as if he couldn't move. So I'm sure that the, my, the truth and my belief and my faith in God, and I declared his name and called upon his name, he shielded me from that painful uh, possible incident that time. There are also other times when someone is trying to harm me in terms of um, um, misinterpreting uh, an intention I that, that a good intention that I have and, and twisting it into something that isn't. But um, when I uttered God's words, that's why I felt that when I started memorizing God's word, when I became a born again Christian, it really shielded me even from uh, my trauma experiences. Like whenever I would have a trigger, I would, um, I, there was a time that I would surround the whole house with verses from the Bible so that when the enemy attacks me and lets me get to the triggers, I would just uh, declare God's word and it usually disappears right away. So thanks for watching and I hope that you will be able to um, get into the word of God because you have no idea how powerful it is. It is the only way we will be able to be victorious against the enemy that is doing harm to us. Thanks for watching. God loves you and so do I.